want to follow up on the Apple discussion we started yesterday. Um, it's, it's, it is what we talked about yesterday and, and it isn't. Um, the good stuff is that Apple is uh, breaking some ground. Um, they are beginning, they're at the very, very front of a long hardware road. I think we can all pretty easily see the difference between that first iPod that we had and the iPhones that we have in our pockets today and understand that Apple, what they launched yesterday is just the beginning. Um, the, the piece of the puzzle that it isn't is you and I discussed, uh, Kevin, yesterday you and I discussed uh, glasses as a potential, which uh, would be an incredible uh, sort of like a, a productivity enhancer, uh, work engagement element, uh, toy even. And for those of us who are used to kind of, you know, just, you know, popping on glasses, it's, it's, it's not like a big behavior change that's required. So we're just like literally just immersed in our, in our little world. Um, it's not what Apple introduced yesterday. They introduced more like the total sort of ski goggle um, approach where you're blacking out, uh, blocking out, excuse me, a lot of other light that comes in and you're experiencing work or movies or little videos that you took on your phone or whatever it is of your kids and so on and so forth in, in very immersive detail um, or a FaceTime call uh, or, uh, or 3D movies, for example. Um, so there's something there that is uh, very, very impressive. Um, it is a definitely direct competitor to the Oculus. It, it also, it, the innovation is the fact that you, that there's a lens that you see through. So you're looking right, you know, it's not, it, you can actually see the real world. You're not totally blocked off. Um, it's $3,500. I, 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 I don't care. Like, meaning like, I, I think that if this was the crushing groundbreaking, you know, whatever, they could charge whatever and we all would buy it anyway. I think we've all been conditioned to that. I think we all have seen that breakthrough technologies. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the price is. We, we, we tend to, we tend to adopt. Um, and I think there's something here. I just think that it's the beginning of the road. It still looks like a fairly clunky thing. It still looks like the reviewers talk a little bit about um, feeling like they weren't actually, <laughs> you know, like feeling like you were absent from reality when you were in the goggles um, and you're basically still putting ski goggles on your head in the middle of whatever your, your work day or your living room or whatever. It still is a little bit of a strange uh, thing that I think, and there's a wire that comes out to the battery pack. I think all of those things obviously will change over time, but um, so I think it's like, they, I think they broke some, some really interesting ground. And, and I, this is a product category that I would say is a little different than Oculus because this is going to, the, the aim of this is not just virtual reality, but also augmented reality. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.